you guys are welcome to my review and today like i said we're talking about mental health mental health is such a big issue and i just want us to first of all realize that we are all involved we all should be involved in this in one way or the other however i do believe that not everybody is good with people but then we should all still pay attention you know i'll be sharing with you guys that a model that i built i built this model just a simple model of how you can engage with someone who is going through mental health i'll share that on the screen throughout this conversation today i don't want to make this so boring and also i don't want it to be too technical as well so i want it to be at least engaging and fun as well wherever you're watching this from or whenever you're watching it you know remember that it is important that you play your part the the first thing i want us to go through is some statistics and obviously i don't want to make this thing like you know very academic in any way but we almost remember that according to what the organization there are around 450 million people who are suffering from uh, mental health disorder and this is alarming this year in 450 million that's a lot of people in the uk there are about 53,000 people that are already admitted this year into one kind of um, mental health homes and you know they said even that number it might not be accurate on you know there still may be other people you know and also about 73 percent of the people uh in the uk for instance uh believed to be so for the last um past year they've been stressed you know stressed out and they cannot even cope with their condition so and i'm very sure if you're watching this right now you must have experienced or heard something about somebody dying or committing suicide somebody going through some mental health issue and they, they died maybe probably in the news or somebody on social media because someone is laughing or smiling somebody walk past someone in your street or somebody your colleague even your family and friends and you know maybe they are going through something you might never know and why should you care the reason why you should Care is because we don't know who is next. Because you see somebody who is very happy, you don't know. Something shocked me recently that someone who I was very close to said to me, you know, we he said to me at one point that you know there was a time that I actually also was thinking about not even waking up, like committing suicide. And and I saw this person nearly every single day. I just couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't believe it. And that's one of the reasons why, obviously, I'm doing this as well. Because I feel sometimes we can so we can just be so engrossed with everything that is going on around us that we forget that there are people going through things that they cannot even handle. Remember that we all handle situation differently. And there's some people that can cope with some different situation, but there are people who cannot cope with some people in some certain situation. So we must just pay attention. And that's why I said everybody is involved in this situation first of all i want to go through like i said those four areas that i feel the, we can use as an individual to engage and um, why should you listen to me is the next thing right so i'm a photographer and a videographer first of all um and i do a lot of on this channel for instance i do a lot of, uh, behind the scenes i do photo shoot i do how i take my photos i uh, show some techniques and i do some editing tutorial i reviews lenses and you know cameras and things like that and i also talk about how you can turn your passion into profit so i review all those things but beyond all that i am also a coach and a mentor on the apprenticeship program so what i do basically is to i help people to you know change their career if you want to you know transition from any kind of career maybe administrative work even maybe as a nurse or whatever it is into the digital space like a ba business analyst or data analyst so i've been working on that for the last four years and i would say i have around maybe 400 students who has passed through me and these are not large classes these are one-to-one -one learners so these are people who are even some of them are line managers some of them are directors some of them are ceos so these are top top people as well these are not just you know and also up there with also people who, who are just finished university or some people who are I'm going to rest up up there with different kind of people from i would say from age maybe 18 to about maybe even 55 to 60 i've dealt with in the last four years and one of the things i have to do 
is to make sure also I check on their well-being in their mental state to see how they're doing overall. And I have had a lot of conversation with a lot of students. And I've seen students in my session break down and cry and you know, more than a dozen, you know. And I've been able to use this technique I'm going to share with you today, even to help this individual. I didn't get it right on the first. I want you to also know that, you know, I get, you know, just practice as I go along and I pay more attention. And up to now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not so good as well, but I'm trying every day to be better. One thing, one disclaimer I must also say is that I'm not a specialist in, the, in, in terms of mental health, but I play my part. And because I've been involved in one way or the other, I can also share this with you guys as well. Okay, guys. So, I want to dive straight into those four things, but I want to also tackle some some myth that people uh, kind of encounter when it comes to mental health. The first one is that a law is a, is a taboo in so many places to even talk about mental health, and this is one of the things that's a disadvantage that people don't want to speak about it. People don't want to say, "Oh, I have a mental health." You know, in some societies, like you're an outcast if you talk about even mental health alone. People just think, "Oh, something is wrong with you." So we must all create an environment to make people feel freely to speak about their state of mind and how they are feeling. I think that is very important. The second thing is that people believe that, oh, I'm not a specialist in mental health, so I'm not, I, I don't want to get involved. No, we all should get involved because it could happen to anybody. It could happen to a family member. It could be, happen to the loved ones. Like in my own case, someone that you know is very dear to me and saying to me, okay, I was about to you know do this at one point. And I was like, I was shocked. Like, you know, it didn't happen, but it could have. You know, it could have. So, and I would never know, and I would never forgive myself for that happening as well. So, I want us to realize that you you don't know who is next. So that is why we must take extra care, and I think that's why this re review um, is for everyone out there. So, the first thing I want to talk about is motive, motive and willingness. You know, if you want to help someone who is going through mental health, my first question to you is. Why do you want to help that person? What is your motive behind going to help that person? And are you willing to do it or is it just because they asked you to do it? Or somebody tell you, oh, can you check on that person? I used to be like that when I started working as a mentor and a coach, you know, because it's part of what I had to do. I was just doing it because of that. But I realized that I need to care more. I need to be willing. It is something, you know, I need to engage more in. Then I decided to take more responsibility and to do it. Also, what is your motive? You know, if you're just going to show off, you know, there's some people like you have a friend who is going through probably stress because they've just failed their exam. exam and you know you are going there to show off that you are, you are scored an A or B that is not the right time I'm not saying you should not live your life but if you really want to go and check on someone or kind of have a conversation with someone who is having mental health and you're showing off your own achievement when that person is struggling already you're going to make it worse that person can even kill themselves from that situation so we, we, we need to think about motive and when we're talking about motive and willingness we should also talk about being sensitive you need to be sensitive to their situation and i think those things are very critical now the second thing that i want to talk about is research we need to do a research i mean when i mean research you know what i discover is that everybody assumes that they know all about mental health you know they don't need anything they are so good about mental health they know what it is but we don't actually know what mental health is mental health affects our you know your, our total brain when it comes to emotional and psychological brain as well and it affects the way we think we feel and act but if you look at it we kind of relate everything around us sometimes people just think people abuse sometimes mental health because that is how it affects, that's one of the reasons I feel that people going through mental health are ignored sometimes because some people are busy, people relate, you know, mental health to every single situation and then sometimes people are confused and all that. I mean, I'm not saying that people are not going through mental health, but also we need to do our own research to realize what is mental health, what are the symptoms, what are the types of mental health that we have that exist, you know, and what are the causes? It could be somebody 
maybe it's through their upbringing, you know, that led to the mental health issue. Uh, they were being brought up, they had some abuse, or, you know, it could be trauma, it could be people going through uh, debt, co high cost of living right now, you know, uh, uh, poverty, it could be through somebody being lonely and things like that, you know, and you could see the symptoms. There are some symptoms out there that will make you know, like somebody's avoidance, you know, excessive uh, fatigue and things like that. You know, these are the things that we need to understand whether, uh, you know, and you also need to know types, types of, you know, uh, mental health, you know, it could be mental disorder, it could be bipolar, it could be things like, you know, uh, stress and things like that. So we need to understand all these things and you need to get yourself into it. Just look it up. Google is your friend. You can even watch YouTube to understand what are these different types of, you know, uh, mental health. Then you'll be able to identify it identify it if someone in your family or someone your friends or someone elsewhere you know is going through them like i said sometimes you might not be able to uh, easily identify them but if at least you have if you have done some research it's at least a step forward that can help you to to get to where you're going the third thing that uh, that is very important uh, you know you also must understand your subject what do i mean by your subject the person that you're dealing with now in some cases some people don't want to share their story they don't want to talk about mental health okay uh, maybe there's another way you can do that by you know referring them to a specialist or things like that but for people who want to speak about it now you must understand them because these people that want to speak about it they also need an environment to speak about it they need you to make it very conducive they don't want to have a seamless conversation they want to have something but you cannot just start a conversation and just saying oh how what about your mental health or how is it you, somebody can be overwhelmed by that you need to transition from a natural conversation to then getting into that mental health state and how do you do that i mean like i said i had a student who lost um, a parent he used to you know we he registered for my one of my one-to-one maybe a few years back and we're doing that uh one-to-one -one, but the person dropped off and i'm wondering why the person dropped off i tried to reach out no reply but after all the person replied i called and we kind, of, we kind of started speaking but now when i realized that the person actually loves things like sport and things like that and that's where we started the conversation from and gradually before i knew it we just get into that issue and she started to talk and one thing that i must also highlight is the fact that i allowed her to talk we must talk less and listen more when you're engaging with someone who is going through mental health don't overtake the person allow the person to speak their mind even if you take some time also make them feel like you're listening do something in between their conversation to let them say mm, like yes or you know to make it you know because when they notice that you're disinterested they might just log off completely so remember it is important important that you also make sure that you allow them to just say what they have to say so understanding them and making sure that you use the right word to um, the right conversation to get into where you're going another thing that you must realize is that these people sometimes don't want to talk and you just you know probably give them that room like i said or you might recommend them to uh, another special now the fourth thing i want to highlight is what i use and i use this over and over is called pull and push and what do i mean by that is knowing when to stop and start when it comes to a mental health issue or engaging with someone with mental health you know people going to mental health don't want to be overburdened sometimes you know um we all want to achieve everything in one day when you're dealing with someone with mental health you need patience you cannot achieve everything in one day when I was having a conversation with this girl, at one point, over like after like 45 minutes, she, she just busted into tears and she was crying and all that. And at one point I said to her, take a deep breath. Just, you know, do you want to just go to the toilet or, you know, maybe, you know, wipe your face, just, you know, take a cup of tea. And it was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I allowed the person. And when the person came back, I asked the person, I said, do you want us to talk about this some other time? And he said, yes, I think that would be, that would be nice, you know. And I went back a few days later and we, we continued this for the last next uh, uh, for three to four weeks. I just wanted to know that it's very important that, you know, you know when to stop and you know when to start all over again and you know when to keep doing that and don't forget these are people they are real people they are people like us and one thing that we also must realize is that don't let anybody make you feel like they are superhuman being every single adult on this surface of the earth i believe they've been through mental health at one point or the other including myself so don't make let anybody make you feel like even because you someone might be watching this right now you might be going through that everybody every adult 
has been through it. So it's just that we all are, you know, built differently. Some people can handle different things indifferently. So there's nothing wrong with you if you're going through a mental health issue. But you know, speaking out is a very good thing, and also you know, allowing someone to you know help you sometimes is a very good thing as well. I mean, these are these are the things that I use. These are the four ways that I try to engage uh, people who are going through mental health and that has worked for me. I mean, like I said, I'm not an especially an expert of uh, mental health, but I have been involved, deeply involved, and I have used this method to work and it has worked for me, you know, and, and I think if you apply it, it might work for you as well in the in the description below or you know via my email you can send me you know an email or anything you know any question regarding mental health and also if you want me to send my pdf of my model that i built you know how you can uh you know engage people with mental health, yes by no means you know just look up the contact on my screen and or you can reach out to me via my social media and those as well remember we are all involved in this uh mental health and we should all pay more attention you know if you know you cannot undo it if you know you cannot speak to the person about mental health why don't you refer that person to a specialist as well for them to be able to speak out um, to speak to them as well right so thank you all for being part of uh, this uh, mental health you know review and discussion we all must play our part remember if you like this video please smash that like button twice also I appreciate if you can share this video with your family and friends out there as well think about subscribing to this channel because that will keep me going as well all right guys until next time i'll see you guys i'll say bye bye